Hey everybody, this is Vince Giordano with the Juniata County Library. Um, wanted to give an update today on what is happening with the library, the latest. So this past Friday, um, Governor Wolf announced that this Friday coming up, 12 counties will be moving into the yellow phase and this includes Juniata County. So I want to share some information about what's gonna be happening um, coming up in the future. So um, you might have a question, will we reopen this Friday? Um, likely not, no. We are um, looking at purchasing supplies and we're building uh, barriers at our main desk counter and all around the counter. Um, just because the health and safety of you, the public, and the health and safety of our staff and volunteers is paramount. That's first and foremost. That comes before everything. So the question again is, will we open this Friday? No, we have some supplies and things to order and some uh, different things to get together, but um, likely by the end of this week, we'll have a lot of things together. Um, if you um, have access to it, you can always call in to and listen to the weekly Juniata County Commissioner's meeting. I call in each week and give an update on uh, what's happening at the library. And you can read about these things in your local newspaper, on our website, and here on um, Facebook and other you know pages of ours. Um, so who decides? whether or not we reopen and when. Um, that's between me and our board of trustees. We work together um, to figure that out. And um, we just wish that, you know, everybody please continue to be patient and be flexible. Um, you know, life is strange and, you know, developments happen and things change. We might, you know, fluctuate. I'm reading, you know, we might fluctuate to yellow and then maybe back to red or, different you know types of yellow so um just you know please bear with us on that and again you know the health and safety of our staff and of you the public is you know first and foremost um so you know continue to check online in your papers for updates on that um if you have something checked out right now a book or a movie or something those things will continue to be renewed until further notice. Do not worry about due dates or fines or overdues. All fines and, and fees have been waived. So there is no pressure for you to leave your home and to come into town and to the library. So please keep those things at home with you. Um, once we do set up um, soon, sometimes when things can be returned, you will know if you have an email address associated with your library card, we'll send an email out to you. If you want an update and want to be included um, with an email, um, send us a private message on our Facebook page or email us or get in touch with us somehow and we'll send you an email and be in touch with you. Um, so uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, Okay, um, so you might wonder what are some precautions that are being taken by the library to ensure everyone is safe. Um, the state library down in Harrisburg release a framework for all public libraries to reopen, depending on your county and if your county is at a different colored phase. Um, since we're moving to yellow, we are allowed to reopen in some capacities. And like I said, that's um, the Board of Trustees here at the library and myself were working that out and coming up with dates. And as we do, we'll make those known to you. Um, but that guidance from the state library down in Harrisburg is going to um, really help us with that. It'll go, you know, once, you know, since, once we reach yellow this Friday, it'll go in phases. So the first phase of that will be curbside service. So that means we'll have it set up that if you, um, you know, want to come in and bring your, drop your things off, we'll let you know that date. And then you just drive in, 
and like curbside we'll take your materials and we'll bring them in we'll disinfect them quarantine them get them ready for someone else to borrow them and um if uh you want something from the library we'll release information on how to ask for that and how we can get things to you we'll pull it and get it to you so keep an eye out on that i know many of you are ready for you know something new to read or to watch. Um, during this whole time, we have still been buying books and movies. And Angie Dolan, our cataloger, has been doing a great job keeping that rolling. So once we do open, there will be brand new things there waiting for you. Um, so it won't be like a big backlog and you know, you're waiting for things. So all the brand new books and movies and TV shows and series and everything, we're still buying them. Um, <clears throat> this past Friday, uh, hostlers came in and they took measurements to create clear barriers around our entire circulation counter that will be high enough to give um, distance between you and us, the staff. Um, there will be little openings for things to be passed between. Um, and we um, are just making these you know, barriers so that everybody can stay safe. And we'll also be putting um, some barriers in place so that you can't just um, come right up to the counter. Like I, I went to CVS maybe a month ago and they had tables so that you couldn't be right there. We'll have everything set up with lanes and distance and uh, you have it. Hey Angie, I see Angie's on here now. Angie's been our cataloger uh, since the beginning of this year and uh, what I've been doing is I've been buying books and I get them sent to the UPS here in Milroy where I live and then I go and pick them up and then I uh, take them down to the library and then I get in touch with Angie and then Angie takes them home and catalogs them from home. So she's a uh, homebound cataloger and gets them ready. So uh, once we reopen, they'll be ready. I know she's got a lot of work with that, but she's doing a great job with that. Thank you, Angie. So uh, back to, you know, the precautions and steps that we're taking to make sure everybody's safe. We're getting uh, barriers created. They'll probably be ready by the end of this week. Um, and we'll get that set up. And then we'll have um, ways that there's some distance between um, the public and the staff at the counters. Um, when things are um, returned to the library, we're going to have a designated space that they go to probably a table or someplace where they'll go and that and at that place we will sanitize them and then quarantine them we'll probably make like a pile and on this pile um you know we'll put a note and say these were returned on this date and then um we have some ideas on when they can be released back into circulation um so that will be taken care of and uh we'll have signage and, and people guiding you i'll be out there working with people and showing you where things to go. Um, until further notice, our book drop outside continues to be locked. So uh, please don't come in and use that. Um, if anything changes, we have signs on our front door and on our side door, but uh, just continue to hold on to your materials at home. Um, when you do come into the library, when we reopen, it's gonna look different. Um, the furniture and um, things like that are going to be shifted around. Um, it's not going to be seating and things, you know, as they used to be where you could sit semi close to each other. Our puzzles, toys, those things will be put away for now. Um, public computers, we understand a lot of people are going to be wanting to use the computers, you know, to file for, you know, government documents or needing to access the internet. Um, the public computers will be made available but there will be distance so you might sit in one spot and then there won't be anyone sitting near you for you know at least six feet that's been one of the hardest things with this closure is um that we know that the internet is so important it's it's vital to our lives and that's a hard part being closed and that we know that thousands of people use our public computers and our wi-fi each year and um, being closed and not having access to that is really difficult. Um, it's one of the reasons why, why we're glad we lend out mobile hotspots because people can take the internet 
um, with them after we close because we often know that you know you need the internet or you need to do things outside of library hours so when you come in just know that things will look different furniture will be moved around it'll, the space will be much more open um, but you'll still be able to use the computers and we'll have things set up for some of our office services like copies and faxing we'll have uh, some steps set up for that we also will for the first time be having some hours designated for the library just for those over a certain age or with um, you know certain health complications or you know if they're at high risk of covid so the library will have some days and times just for that just you know so that they can be in the library and maybe not you know be introduced and be around you know others and be at risk so keep an eye out for that um, and again, you know, just for everybody involved, please just bear with us. Um, this is unprecedented and we're gonna be as flexible as we can in uh, things, you know, as they develop. But, uh, you know, we, we know many of you will understand that first and foremost, with all of this, it's about you being safe and we do not want that, you know, to be compromised. Um, and, as a library staff with the library board of trustees we're all working as a team we have a great team here at the library and a lot of you know smart people a lot of people who are very attuned to the needs of families to the elderly to those who need computers and need services um, i think that's one of the great things about our library is our team then um, for cleaning supplies, what are we doing for cleaning? Um, we will have on hand masks, um, cleaning and disinfecting supplies, hand sanitizer for the staff and the public, tissues, gloves, thermometers. We'll have um, gloves and masks available for those who wanna come into the library. We really suggest that you, highly suggest that you have them and, um, and use them, um, especially you know, it's tough just socially distancing at a public library um, because a public library you're around other people. So, you know, some challenging parts of that will be, you know, when you go and use a computer or if you need to go and read the newspaper, but we'll have things set up um, to help with that. All right, I'm looking at some questions we got here. <clears throat> or some comments. Hey, Rachel, Clark. Um, Thanks for you say, thanks for sharing. Can't wait to get some new reads. We can't wait for you to get some new reads. We've been buying a lot of books. Um, if you want to know what they're like, ask Angie. Angie sees them all. Um, so we're really excited for people to get books. Um, authors, you know, finished books long ahead of this, so they continue to release them when we continue to buy them. So when you come through the doors um, or you ask or, you know, contact us for something, we're, we're going to have shelves, you know, stuffed with books. Um, got another comment here from Jen, Sergi. It all sounds great. I'm grateful that you're working behind the scenes to prepare for the community. You guys rock. Thank you, Jen. You rock too. We, you know, we miss you. We know you come in regularly to the library. And, uh, and then we got Melanie Ziders. Uh, thanks for the information and keeping us updated. You bet. Um, it's really important that we keep you updated. So I like doing these live videos. Okay, um, <clears throat> some more things um, uh, for cleaning supplies and keeping things safe. We will have designated times um, throughout the day, each day, um, hourly, after staff do certain things. Um, and then at the end, in the beginning of each day, we're gonna have certain cleaning tasks um completed so the guidance from the state library is really going to help us with that so we're going to be taking a lot of steps to ensure that everybody is safe and things are clean and for us to continue to be open um once we get to that point is going to be dependent on everybody's safety and the availability of cleaning supplies so if we get to a point where there's a shortage in cleaning supplies, or if we get to a point where there's a spike locally in cases, we may need to take things back a step and, um, you know, reduce some things. 
and that's just for the health and well-being of of you of everyone um next question you might have is what about in-person programming like story times at the library what's happening with them all in-person programming that we have will be held virtually until further notice so we will not be having any children's story times or kids programming in person that will all be held virtually until further notice um and i know that's hard Ms. Jacinda you know, misses all of you, all the families and kids, and she does a great job. If you haven't already seen, check out on our page here, we link to the group that she has where she releases story times, at least three of them a week and some different programming. And it's tough because, you know, with the limits on those who can be at the library, it could be one or two families and then you're at that limit or at that max. So, you know, we wouldn't want to say, okay, these two families can be in and then this family you can't be in. That wouldn't be fair. So just until further notice, things will be virtual. So check out our website and then here on Facebook, we'll be posting all of that. Um, and coming up very soon is our summer reading and all of our summer reading will be held virtually. For the first time ever, our 2020 summer reading will be held virtually. If you go onto our website, we have a page dedicated to that. It's gonna be a place online where you can register, um, create, creating an account and log your reading, earn badges, you know, when you accomplish certain milestones. So check that out. But, you know, just for everybody's health and well-being, all of our normal programming that we would be having um, will be held virtually. And um, if you happen to, in the past, use the library with uh, like a group and do meetings, or if you want to do that, reach out to us so we can um, discuss how that'll look, because that'll be different. Um, and all right, let's see what else we got. Um, coming up next week, um, Durando's Cleaning down in Perry County is going to be coming in and doing an extensive cleaning of our floors from top to bottom. So that will be happening. Durando's Cleaning has been doing our cleaning for a few years and they do a great job. They're in New Bloomfield. Um, Check them out online, Dorundo's Cleaning. They do uh, Perry County and Juniata County cleaning. They do a great job. So they'll make sure that our carpets and our floors are spick and span. They do a great job with our, um, with our floors downstairs, really nice and waxed. You can see your reflection on the floor. Um, go on to, um, you know, here on our page or on our website, with the Ask Us Anything video series I've been doing, I now have those available as a podcast. So um, you can go into your favorite podcast app and search for Ask Us Anything, Ben Stiridano. Or if you go into our website, we have links to it. And then you can download them and just listen to them. Um, podcasts are a huge thing, so check that out. Um, and also check out RB Digital, which is our new service that we offer just with e-audio titles it has over 6,000 e-audio titles that you can download and the best thing is with RB Digital there are no wait lists so there could be 10 people getting the same e-audio title at one time or two people or five um, there are no wait lists there's a max of 10 checkouts you can have with RB Digital at a time but uh, go to the App Store or go to our website and you can download the RB Digital app. It's separate from Libby or Overdrive, but it, RB Digital gives you e-audio titles that you can download. It's free and there's over six or 7,000 titles and there's no wait list. So there's a lot um, that we as the library offer to you um, while you're at home um, or while you, you know, you're isolating yourself. Um, go on to our website. We have a ton of services. We have databases. Um, we have the ebooks. We have our videos. And we keep a timeline of all the developments with COVID related to the library. Um, so check that out. Check that out. So um, just to recap, um, even though Juniata County is moving to yellow this um, Friday, we will not be opening this Friday, but we're doing everything in our power to be ready. Um, we're getting barriers built around um, our counters and we're getting everything set up. 
once we're ready to start accepting your returns to the library, we'll um, make that known on here and in other um, ways. So uh, thank you for watching this and please stay safe and stay tuned for some updates. We'll uh, probably have some more updates in the next coming week. So have a great one.